A traffic stop turns into a powerful display of compassion as a state trooper prays for a man with cancer. The story went viral on social media. You may have heard about this. Now that man's daughter and a nonprofit hope to use the moment to spark healing in communities across the globe. Our Shelby Brown tells us what people in our area can do to join in. A picture that gripped the hearts of millions. A North Carolina state trooper seen holding the hand of a man in a car stopped for speeding. What happened next? That will always leave an impression in my heart and in my mind. Dr. Ashley Wilkerson and her family members were heading home from Duke University Hospital with her father, Deacon Anthony Geddes, who was battling stage four colon cancer. He was very weak, but he cleared his throat and he said in a very low strained voice, uh, he told the officer that I was taking him back home from his chemo treatment. Yes, I did relate to him in that manner. That really touched Officer Jared Dowdy, who became emotional. Because he too had uh, about with a condition where he had to remove his colon to prevent colon cancer. Um, and so he was very well aware of what my dad was going through. He asked permission to pray with Ashley's dad. So grabbed my dad's hand and he led the prayer. Unbeknownst to them, I took the photo. <laughs> I love taking pictures. And at the end of the prayer, my dad opened his hand and the officer left a silver metal cross in his hand. And he told him, you know, safe travels. You have someone else praying for you and with you on this journey. A few months later, when her dad passed away, Ashley shared this picture for the first time. Later, thousands of texts, emails, and calls would follow. And it captured the attention of over 7 million people on LinkedIn. It was featured in CNN. It was featured in Fox News. It was featured on Apple News. It was featured on uh, Yahoo News. And it's been in over 20 plus publications, uh, that one particular story. And so my dad, Anthony Tony Geddes, is known all over the globe. <laughs> to her, the picture represents my dad's strong faith. My dad was a praying man, he was the power of humanity. The officer did not have to pray with my dad that day. He didn't have to show care and concern, but he did. In honor of her dad, Ashley is collaborating with the nonprofit Serve and Connect, which is dedicated to bringing together law enforcement officers and communities, fostering positive change. She says they're planning to honor law enforcement officers all across the country on a monthly basis. To find out how you can nominate an officer from RVA and get involved, go to WTVR.com.